Hello everyone. Welcome to the Linux Sint YouTube channel. In this video, we are gonna talk about string splitting in Python. So first of all, let's discuss what is string splitting. When we divide a string of multiple words into a specific number of words based on a particular separator, then it is called string splitting. Most of the programming languages use the split method to divide a string into multiple words. The return type of this method is an array for many standard programming languages. The split method is also used in Python to divide a string into words and it returns a list of words based on the separator. The syntax of split method is very simple. While using the split method in Python, we have two arguments for this method. The one is the separator and the other is the max split number. The separator works as the divider of the string and the string value breaks into the smaller words based on the separator. If this argument is omitted, then white space is used as default separator. And the second argument in the split method is the max split. Max split is used to define the limit of the words that will split. If this argument is omitted then the entire string will be passed for splitting and create the list of words based on the separator. So without any further ado let's try to understand the working of split method in Python with the help of some examples. Spider 3 editor is opened here on my Linux Mint and first of all we will see that how to split a string based on white space. So this is my Python file in my Spider 3 editor. And I have a string variable here which is the text variable and the value of this variable is welcome to the Linux Sint. And uh, I am printing a message here that the string is splitting on the basis of white space. The string is splitting on the basis of white space all right and to split a string we have to write the name of the string here that is essentially the text string and call here the method split so if I run my Python script from here and you can see the output in the console. The variable text contains a string of four words and the output shows a list of four items that are welcome to the Linux Sint. So that is how you can split a string on the basis of white space. Let me just comment this code. We can also use any character or string as separator in the split method. So the second example is gonna be splitting a string based on comma. The comma will be used as a separator in the next example. I'm gonna create a variable here of country. And this variable will have value of different countries and the name of each country will be separated by a comma. Like USA, comma, UK, France, Russia, Pakistan and uh, India. Alright. So this is the value of my string that is the country string and each country name is separated by a comma. So now I will split the string based on comma and the name of the countries will be stored into another variable that is the list country variable. country dot split and inside this split method I have to define the separator that is comma all right so now let's print this list list country and run this file and you can see in the output that now we have a list of countries and each country name is separated by a comma. We can also print the name of each country in separate line and for this we will need a for loop. So I am defining a for loop here for i in range from 0 to the length of the string list country. print list country into i 
So if I run this program again, and you can see that now it has printed the each country in the new line or a separate line. So that is how you can split a string based on comma. We can also split a string based on the specific word. For example, I have a string of programming languages and the value of this string is bash and C++ and PHP and Python. We can split this string based on and word lang list is equal to prog lang dot split our separator in this case is and operator to print the list item in a separate line or a new line we have to define a for loop here in range zero to the length of the string that is lang list I am printing here I like lang list I so it will basically concatenate the two strings so first it will print I like and then it will print the name of the programming language so if I run this program and uh, you can see here in the output that I like bash and uh, then it has printed I like C++ and uh, then it has printed I like PHP and at the end it has printed I like Python. So that is how you can use any specific word or the AND operator to split a string in Python. Next we will see that how to split a string based on the limit. By default, the split method divides any text into all possible parts based on the separator value. The max split parameter is used in the split method to limit the divided parts of the string. To understand the concept of max split, create a string person. Which have the name of the person. And each value is separated by a colon. And John is a student in MIT of seventh semester. And his email is john at the rate gmail.com. All right, so I have assigned this value to the person string. So now split the string based on colon and define the limit value one is equal to person dot split so we have to define the separator here that is colon and here we have to define the max limit and the max limit in this case is 4 and I am defining a for loop to print the value of these splitted strings I in range 0 to the length of the string that is value 1 print value 1 into i all right so if i save this program and i run this file again so you can see that now it has printed the five words here that are john student mit seventh semester and the john at the red gmail.com because the indexing start from zero. So when we have defined four here, it means it will start indexing from zero. So therefore it has printed five words here in the console. So if I define the limit three here, and if I run this program again, so now you can see that it has printed four values in a row. And similarly, if I define limit two here, then it will print three values in a row. So that's it for this video. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and keep visiting our website linuxin.com for more useful videos like this. Thank you.